Hey guys, this is Max from HardwareHobbyist.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the quick launch bar back in Windows 7. What you see here is the default desktop that Windows 7 will give you if you've done something like a fresh install. Uh, as you can see, the quick launch bar has been replaced with this new bar. I'm not sure what Microsoft calls it, but it allows you to pin and unpin programs from it. And then uh, there are a couple major differences between this and the old quick launch bar. One is that if you open a window, let's say I wanted to go to my Gmail, and then I wanted another window, if I clicked on the icon again, all that would do is minimize it. So I'd have to right click on it and then click the program again to open a new window. And I know that's pretty easy, but I didn't want to get used to that and have to do it all the time. So uh, I wanted to find a way to get the old bar back, and it's actually really easy to do. Um, another major difference is that you cannot pin a folder to this bar. It has to be an actual application. And uh, on my old setup, on my XP setup, I like to have folders pinned to the quick launch bar. And uh, it didn't allow me to do that, so I was kind of mad. But it's really easy to get quick launch bar back, so you guys should all be able to do it. And uh, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open your control panel and make sure that you have hidden files and folders enabled for viewing. So in order, in order to do this, you need to go to the Start button, go to Control Panel. This is the default control panel. Uh, I like to switch it to small icons, just so I can see all my options on one screen. But if you like this, you go to Appearance and uh, Personalization. The Folder Options shortcut is right here. But let's go to Small Icons, and it's right here on the right. Once you have this open, you want to go to the View tab. And then right here in the middle, you see there's a box that says Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Let's check that, and then click Apply. And you can exit Control Panel. And now uh, you're ready to get the Quick Launch Bar. So what you want to do is right-click on the taskbar, go to Toolbars, New Toolbar. Go to your C disk your users folder, whatever your username is, and then app data. As you can see, it's kind of faded, meaning that it was a hidden folder, which we can now see. So you go to app data, roaming, Microsoft, Internet Explorer, and then there's a quick launch folder right here. Just click that one time, and then say select folder and you get your quick launch bar right here on the right side so grab this little uh, I'm not sure what to call it grip thing drag it all the way to the button and your program uh, your pin program should be on the right side now and I like to unpin these just so it keeps the bar a little cleaner because if I want those icons I can just put them right here in the quick launch bar as you can see um, there's text next to each of the icons. In order to get rid of this, you want to right click on the quick launch text down here, uncheck show text, and uncheck show title to get rid of the quick launch title. And then you have all your icons. Um, you can put folders in here, new icons, anything you want, um, just like it was in Windows XP and Vista. The last thing you're going to need to do to make it look traditional is um, as you can see your open programs will show up as an icon only with no uh, program label next to it so in order to get the label back right click on the taskbar go to properties and right here it says taskbar buttons you want to get that drop down menu and change it to never combine say apply and the labels come back right next to your program icons and I like to also check use small icons just so the taskbar takes a, li a little less space of the desktop. I think it looks a little neater. And click OK. And that's it. You're done. Um, this is a fully functioning quick launch bar just like it was in XP and Vista. And I can pin folders to it. As you can see, I have a few folders here. There's my folding folder. It's got my folding at home shortcut, HFM. And uh, this was not able to be pinned on 
the traditional bar that Windows 7 gives you. Alright, well I hope this guide helped you guys. Uh, please feel free to visit our website, www.hardwarehobbyist.com, for more tech news, reviews, and guides. Uh, this is Max. See you guys later.